move on to topic number five now. Sticking with the NFL, Rodgers' rate. Now, this topic changed a lot over the last yes. few hours, um, Brandon. But, you know, we're going to start with what we thought we were going to talk about tonight, and that's Aaron Rodgers defeated the Arizona Cardinals on Thursday night with a couple of backup wide receivers um, and and was still able to get it done, had a big win against one of the top teams, the, unde- the only undefeated team left in the NFL and you're saying to yourself, after that first week where the where the Packers got smacked in the face in the mouth in, in week one, they've been so good. Rodgers has been so good throughout the season, despite what happened in the offseason. And you're saying, uh, this Packers team looks great. Should Aaron Rodgers be the MVP? And then, of course, we got the news drop today. Yeah, I mean, big news drop today, too. So I'll hold off on that. Well, let's go back to that Cardinals game. You know, and, and it was a story that kind of expanded today into this story was that, you know, Devontae Adams and Lazard were going to be out for COVID tests. You know, I believe Lazard was a close contact to the positive test of Devontae Adams, you know. So those were the big stories heading into that game with the Arizona Cardinals that Aaron Rodgers was going to be without his two best wide receivers going up against one of the best teams in the NFL. Go into that game and Aaron Rodgers absolutely carved them up. Carve the Cardinals defense up. And we've talked about it on the past, too. Go back, if you're a viewer, how we said that at that Arizona Cardinals defense being one of the best in the NFL, but they still did have to improve if they wanted to be a championship team. I think they got exposed a little bit here by the Green Bay Packers and by Aaron Rodgers here playing with some backup players. And Aaron Rodgers still carves them up and gets the win, man. I'll tell you what, he was putting on that fake championship belt all night because he played great in that game and they got the W but then the big news drops today that you know that their COVID situation in Green Bay is expanding and spreading there and so they've got a little bit of of a mini outbreak along with I believe the New York Giants too who are fighting a little bit of an outbreak on their team and it's the big one it's the best player on your team it's Aaron Rodgers your MVP and and, in my opinion yes you have got to put him in the MVP category right now and in the pool of candidates up there, like we said, with Tom Brady, Kyler Murray, you know, Cooper Cup, maybe, and, and Matt Stafford, a couple other guys. It's kind of wide open right now. You've got so many players playing at a high level. Lamar Jackson cannot forget about him right now. So that MVP uh, conversation is still wide open, but Aaron Rodgers has definitely put himself in it. And with this story, you know, back a couple of weeks ago, he said he was immunized, a little wordplay. But it really was that he did a little holistic like immunization. And and by the NFL standards, he is unvaccinated and an unvaccinated player. The Green Bay Packers have done a great job of keeping that quiet over the week. But today it just blew up in their face and also in Aaron Rodgers face, because now he's got some questions about was he trying to lie with his comment of being immunized and try to you know brush things under the rug? Or was he being truthful there when he thought he was, you know, being honest when he said he got immunized and he thought he was going to pass the NFL standard, but he did not. He's unvaccinated. He's now tested positive for COVID and their their quarterback room is looking pretty small now going into Sunday. So this is another team that's going to look to have to sign another player. Rumor has is that they're going to bring Blake Bortles back, a guy that they had on their team in the summer when Rodgers was taking his little mini vacation. So this is another little mini vacation that he's going to take. But I do have to say, I hope he's feeling good. I hope he gets better. But Aaron, man, you've got to do a better job. You've got to get vaccinated now and and, and be better and uh, for better, better showing for the community and for and for players out there. Yeah, and uh, I'm taking him out of the MVP uh, contendership just for this reason, because just admit that you you don't want to get vaccinated. I know you get, you know, a, a big PR hit. People call your names on Twitter for a few days, and then we've gotten over it. At least, you know, I mean, I don't think Carson Wentz is. I don't think Lamar Jackson is. I think there's a few, you know, Jameis Winston isn't. But at least they owned it. You know, at least they said, we don't want to do this. You know, I don't agree with them. They should be vaccinated. You know, it's a lot easier to, even if you test positive, to come back quick, more, you know, quicker. You come back sooner if you're vaccinated. So I think just think it's dumb not to get vaccinated if you're an NFL player. But at least those guys owned it. Now Rodgers has been walking around, probably without a mask on, probably not abiding by the COVID protocols because, you know, he tells everybody he's vaccinated. So people aren't, you know, kind of being more protective of themselves against him. 
And then now he's, he's, you know, you find out he is unvaccinated. That's not being a leader. That's not being a quarterback, in my opinion. The guy's unbelievable. Rodgers is a top 10 quarterback of all time. But to do this, this is a lack of leadership from Aaron Rodgers. Not just not getting vaccinated, but lying about it or stretching the truth, however you want to call yeah. it. I mean, he's, you're yep. not vaccinated, dude. But you, everybody thought you were because of the way you were talking in the press conference. So yep. I think he misled people. Add that to what was going on in the offseason. Even though I agree that, you know, holding out, especially if you're an NFL player, I have no problem with that because of the, the you know, how short players' careers are. But you, you do all that. They try to, they try to you know, wade through all that BS during, during the offseason. And then he says he's vaccinated and he's not. If I'm the Packers, I'm like, we kind of bent over backwards for you this year to try to get this done. And then you lie about being vaccinated. What, you know, what is going on here? You know, like you mentioned, they probably already knew that he wasn't vaccinated, but kept it under wraps. But, it, you know, so maybe his teammates did know. But still, that's to me, that's not being a leader. That's not being a quarterback. And that's why I would probably take him out of the MVP race at this moment. I do have to agree with your comment there. Of that's not showing leadership at all, because now, look, you're not available at all to basically even lead your team or play play on Sunday. And he's got to be out to at least November 13th and provide some negative tests before he's going to be allowed to come back. So he's definitely missing the game this Sunday. He might even be at jeopardy to miss the game next Sunday against the Seattle Super uh, Super Supersonics. I was going to say against the Seattle Seahawks. I wish that Supersonics would come back, man. Um, Same here. Good topic <laughs> for another show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but he might end up missing two games. So I do have to agree with your your call on his leadership here. And I will say this, though, you know, that all the reports are coming out that was that, yeah, the team knew this and that they've been get, keeping yeah. it under wraps and keeping it quiet. And they were treating him as an unvaccinated player. So in the buildings and it, when he was inside, he had to wear a mask around everybody. But as you see, when he's on the sideline and was outside, he was not wearing a mask. He's still in that huddle near everybody. It's, it's really hard to say, like, you know, he's a quarterback. He's near everybody. How are there not any more like close contact tests coming out right now? Because right. he's he's been so close to some so everybody right now. So definitely got to question that and got to question his leadership. But I will say this: this is a guy that could be a free agent, right? And is supposed to be at the end of the season. I would still love him see, to see him come play for the New England Patriots. And I'm sure there's a lot of fans out there that want him to come play for their team next year because I still think he's got a lot left in the tank. But I do, I do got to say, man, I, I want to see you get vaccinated, Aaron Rodgers. So I hope you step up and get it done. But I hope you feel better and get back on the field soon. Let's move on to topic number six tonight. 